Yeah, I have my 2006 F350 with a 6.0. Gonna be showing you how to replace this map sensor on here. Okay, so we're over here on the passenger side where our um, oil fill is, and you'll notice there's a tube. Now, in my case, this thing was flopping around up here, and I was wondering why I didn't remember taking it loose and then I noticed that there was a uh, a piece of a fitting plastic fitting that was broken off in there and I couldn't figure out at first where it came from <clears throat> and then uh, I noticed that um, it was supposed to be connected to this this right here and this is where your map sensor is now you could just take and uh, take these screws out right here and uh, get this thing. It's um, it's got some funky looking little heads on it. However, you can use a flat screwdriver. Like I said, you don't need just a few tools. We need some pliers and uh, 10 millimeter if you want to take that bracket and a and a flat screwdriver. But like I said, um, I'm just going to take this bracket off because I can see what I'm doing. It's just going to make things easier. You can do what you want. It's yours. But um, I'm going to take these three. 10 millimeters out here first. So said I'm just using a little bitty ratchet here. And I'm just setting them up there out of the way. Okay, so I just pulled that up and off there. When we flip it over, we'll notice we got this plastic tab. I've already pushed that back, but it uh, took a good bit of pushing to push that back because it was pushed down to here where my thumbnail is. So I just pushed that back, and with that pushed back, I can push right here and it'll slip right up and off <clears throat> and right here you can see is the culprit and uh, apparently this is common because I had another truck and the same exact thing happened it broke off right there so it's kind of it gets brittle and that's a weak point <clears throat> so like I said didn't have to disconnect this because it was broken off but if it was connected and you know you got a code for a bad map sensor then um, you know you that's how you would have to do it you'd have to take some pliers and take that hose off of there but in my case I didn't need that to know it was broken so we're just gonna take our flat screwdriver like I said it's got some funky looking deals there but a flat will work just fine we're just gonna take those two screws out right there now here's my replacement Part and I ordered this from the parts store. They did not have it in stock. Um, so I had to wait a few days on this. But um, it's kind of a pricey little part. I mean, this was, uh, I guess, a cheaper one that they had of the options. And it was like um, almost $60, I think, what I paid. But it looks identical to this one. And I'm just hoping that this um, this aftermarket's going to play nice with the uh, with the Ford truck here. We're going to find out what's going to happen. So, um, like I said, just pay attention to how you took it off, and just put it back on the same way. So, in other words, we're just going to take it and flip it over like that, put it on our bracket. And then we'll just uh, flip it back over this way and put our screws in. Now I just want to point out that these are like self-tapping screws in this plastic. It is not threaded. And you will have a slight bit of difficulty getting those started when you go to put that back on there. So um, we've got this like so. So I'm just going to go ahead and take it over here and go ahead and make my connections and then I can just very simply turn it over and um, and put those 10 millimeters. Like I said, you could do it just by taking those, those out of there, but it would be more difficult. So I'm just gonna make my connections like this with it um, flipped over and then we'll just flip it over and, and put those uh, 10 millimeters back in there and see what we got. And like I said, I'll have to have a pair of pliers to reattach that. And it wouldn't be a bad idea. This hose gets really brittle. I mean, I can tell this is not good. I'm gonna have to get some more of this. 
I just don't have any handy at the moment and I'll have to I'll have to get some of that later because that's just problems down the road I mean that's gonna start cracking because it's in really hard real shape right now one thing I would note I had pulled my plastic tab back so far that there's like a little red plastic part that I had to push down with a screwdriver to be able to push it forward so just be mindful of that because I guess I had pulled mine back way too far and if I'd tried to force that I would have broke that that little connector so anyways we've got our connector on there and we've got the hose attached I'm just gonna get my pliers and move that clamp up there yes yeah, so I got the clamp in the position so now I'll just route this wire back under here out of the way and get my hose out of the way that snap back in position here just like that so now all I got to do is get my 10 millimeters right here back on and we'll be all finished up with this okay and there it is all secured away and we'll just go and crank this thing up and see if this uh, see what it sounds like okay so it's definitely idling and sounding better than it was uh, with that being broken so Anyways, in case you're wondering, you know, where your map sensor is or to get a code for that, now you know how to locate it. And like I said, this is a 2006 6.0, so hopefully that's been helpful, and thank you for watching. Okay, so I was having extreme power loss and um, everything with this, and I, you know, I guess it should have been quite obvious. I wasn't even getting a reading on my turbo psi up here at all and i knew it had you know even though it was plugged in the the stem was broken off the tube so i wasn't getting anything on that but um i mean that fixed the entire power loss problem right there just that little sensor and uh i mean it's running really good it's idling good and uh, I knew that it probably had a lot of significance, but I didn't know that it had that much. I just hadn't run into this before, and I didn't realize that that little map sensor would just completely shut your power down on this thing, because I couldn't even get it over 55 miles an hour before. So, you know, if you're getting a code for that, um, you know, that's a good possibility if you got power loss. Um, or if you know your tube and your stems broken like in the case of mine then uh, you know that could probably fix all your problems there so anyways I'm uh, you know extremely happy to have that problem solved and everything so uh, um, hopefully that's been helpful and uh, thank y'all for watching